Hey, welcome back to uh, season two, uh, first show of the season. We are here at uh, Bill's Office Supply for uh, this week's review preview. And I am uh, sitting here with Isaac. And uh, he is going to go over a couple of things about the business and with it being the new year. Okay. Um, well, for the new year, as always, we do our tax forms. We got W-2s, 1099s. Uh, pretty much cover any need you have on that. Um, we can kind of walk you through most of the steps through it. Um, envelopes for those as well. Um, all your ink cartridge and toner needs. Paper. Free delivery in town. Uh, we go pretty far out of town too. We do a one day delivery up towards Waverly all the way up to South Point. Um, and we also have uh, pretty much any of your ink and toner needs. We can do OEM, which is just manufacturer or compatible. And we can be pretty competitive with our pricing as far as price matching with staples and quill. So let us know, you can email us parts and we can do whatever we need to do. Now with all that being said too, uh, what are some of the more popular items you've seen coming in, like just picking up in the store outside of the taxes and stuff? Outside of taxes, um, we do a lot of, oh, we, we do a lot of furniture. So if you're revamping the office and you need to do desks, file cabinets, storage cabinets, free delivery and assembly on that as well. I've seen um, one nice chair over here that's not even yeah, in the shot. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can do just about any computer chair that you can find and for, assemble it for free, drop it off your front door. No extra charge. Uh, business hours that you guys usually have? Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5.30. And on Saturdays, we're open a half day from 9 to noon. 9 to noon. Yeah. All right. Um, outside of that, um, calendars probably a big deal still right now. People calendars, get in here. calendars will be a big deal for probably the next couple months. Um, and another just kind of off subject, you can see behind us the receipt books and sales pads here. Um, we can do any of that you, can need, you would need plus custom printing. And we can also do any like point of sale system, the receipt paper rolls and stuff like that. Oh, okay. And uh, the CAD engineering rolls for anybody that does blueprints. and CAD is good to know. Yeah. yeah, especially for engineering. Now back to the, uh, and the custom printing. Now, does that mean everything from office uh, paperwork to like pictures or? Um, we wouldn't do pictures, um, okay. but we are close with all of the local printers in our area and we can set you up with them. Refer and refer and okay. all that, and um, you know we don't do color pictures in house, but mm -hmm. there's a shop right around the corner that we can send. You oh, to that's awesome! Yeah. So just a recap, real quick. So they do do delivery. Yep. <laughs> They're pretty much open every day of the week except for Sunday. Every day. <laughs> and uh, and again, if you can see behind me, again, like he said, he's got the different receipt books and stuff. So if you're making that New Year's resolution and you're trying to go in for finances or or trying to get your paperwork, again, filing cabinets and things like mm -hmm. that, you guys saw the office furniture. So, and again, we want to appreciate Bill Office Supply for having us in here today for our uh, first show of the season. <laughs> we thank you for coming. Yeah. How long have you been at this location? This location, uh, I'm pretty sure it's pushing 60 years now. Wow. Yeah, it's been a long time. I don't know the exact date because it was like a partnership beforehand, and I've only been here for five years, so it's kind of exact date I don't know, but I know it's definitely been at least 50, 60 years. That's a good, that's a good staple. I'm telling you. Yeah. The community. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So we hope that other businesses will start to flourish as the economy begins to kind of come back and uh, mm -hmm. you guys are right here in the thick of it. Yeah, Persevered are. through all the good, yep. the bad. The Seen year. it up and down. Yeah. Yeah. Choose your ports with you guys are really feeling that right yep. now, aren't you? Exactly. <laughs> All right, well, I will uh, go ahead and uh, thank you again, Isaac. Thank you. And I'm going to call uh, Mark Craycraft in to uh, right. join, the, join the table. <laughs> pass the mic, so to say. <laughs> uh, now we're going to kind of go in a little bit of... Uh, thank you again. No problem at all. We're going to go into a little bit of the uh, just a review from this uh, past uh, couple weeks. Hi, Betty. <laughs> Hello, Mark. <laughs> Boy, we really got a hiatus that time. We did. Thanksgiving was and just a week. This was a couple. <laughs> and we upped our game technology-wise with these fantastic microphones. I hope it works out good. I hope they can hear this real good over there. So. <laughs> I have a feeling they will. We practiced. We bought two sets. 
microphones. And then we practiced. And then she chose which one she felt like was the best. Right. And they got like these ultra huge chords. So when it comes time for parade time, then we'll be able to have the camera set up to where you guys will be able to see the parades and the boat races and all yes. the wonderful things will happen. And the chords are magnificently long, so you'll still be able to hear crystal clear audio. And uh, so we thank uh, Nanopap's wonderful gifts, uh, NP Publishing, that uh, sponsored that, and we are. I'm telling you, this, this is this is nice. It's moving you know? along in it, yeah. Hello, come in. Yeah, and I'm loving this view right now. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing better than a window view. You guys don't see it, but I do. <laughs> Love the window view. Uh, I want to talk one thing. I'm going to kind of jump back to. Uh, it happened over a week ago. The polar plunge, yeah. and I want to. <laughs> Well, you know, hats off to Hank Hankinson. This is why, yeah, I thought you were going to go there. I, I love that guy. I want, I want to. Yes. <laughs> Look, Hank, if you need more grandchildren, okay, I'm available for adoption. I want to hear your stories. You know what I mean? Yes, I just want to hear your stories. So, yes, absolutely. World War II veteran, and yes. Well, and I thought it was funny, on that per first part of that interview, they had first said, I thought, well, I misunderstood, there was a lot going on happening in the place to begin with, and I thought they said he had done it for 30 years, and he's right. like, no, uh, but wanted, I thought about it. <laughs> I've wanted to do it for 30 years. <laughs> loved it, I loved it. So, Hank Hankinson, thank you guys for that. I really appreciated that interview, and then it was a really good time. Uh, the, the two guys that were behind us was from Huntington, West Virginia. It was their first time doing the uh, polar plunge. So. There were uh, <laughs> people from uh, the Boy Scouts that went down there. Um, mm -hmm. So it was, it was, it's the what they call Forsman's largest unofficial event. Um, but it was, it was a good time. A good time was had by all, and except Betty didn't get in the water. Nope. I, don't know. I thought about I don't it. Honestly, if, if it had been four days sooner when it was warmer. I bet you won't wear heels <laughs> next year. No, I will not. <laughs> I got made fun of on that. <laughs> I was trying to look fancy for y'all. And then you know what my husband says? Betty, they don't see your feet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I said, but when they first walk in, they do. <laughs> I had to throw that in there. A lot of you know that. But um, and then just real quick, SAL, I want to thank them because they contribute a lot to that. And they yes. uh, they they provided breakfast and drinks for the folks. They made sure everything was set and ready to go. And so American Legion, uh, Dickie Post 23, I think has done it. Hats off to you guys for taking over that from the guy, Simon, I right. guess, that passed the torch on, we should say. So, um, and I look forward to hopefully next year. I'd love to. And, and, <laughs> oh, I, and I looked at the numbers. I'm a numbers guy. I look at the numbers and your bus ride got a lot of views. <laughs> <laughs> People just want to watch Betty ride the bus. So Larry Mullins, my friend, we're going to hook Betty up and have her come ride your bus because he got like 6,000 views of just watching Betty ride the bus. Hey, I'll, 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 get, them all, I'll get them all going. We'll, we'll rear them up. We'll, we'll do a tour of Portsmouth. So Larry Mullins um, uh, with uh, uh, the, the bus system, um, we, we want to do a tour, and we'll put Betty live, and she'll just give, yeah. So on your left, you'll see this, and on your right, you'll see That's that. That's right. And it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy how many people just tuned in to watch her ride down Washington Street. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I'm getting the feedback now. That's, that's good. Yeah, I'm sure there's a few of my friends on there that did that too. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that was a great way to bring in the new year. I'm telling yeah. you, I couldn't have I couldn't have asked for a better right. way for the first thing and to we, start. We hope the best for your families. That you had a good holiday. I know it's a tough time for a lot of a lot of folks. And when we had Andrew on before, and uh, Will. And Will's son, if you remember when we were at Patties and Pints, and we had Will, and he gave such a moving talk. We really appreciated Will and Andrew and talking about the yes. holidays. But Will's son works here. Yes. Yeah. Small world. So I'm telling you, <laughs> you know, this is fantastic. Choose your Portsmouth. We've got some wonderful, wonderful people. Um, but if the holidays were tough for you, mm -hmm. we apologize. Our prayers are with you. We are now in a new year, a new a new season yes. and we hope the very very best for you and your family 
throughout this year. Let's Best make, foot forward, and right? And decade. We got yeah. it's a decade. Wow. I forgot that it was a decade. <laughs> what do we call? So like you got the 80s and the 90s, mm -hmm. right? And then you're going to do the 2000s. You're just going to ask me this. Yeah, yeah. you're going to do the 2000s. What do we call what we just did? The teens? I don't you know. You know, back in the 20 teens. I mean, <laughs> because the trials and tribulations? I don't know. <laughs> we're going to have the 2020s and the 2030s, right. right? So what, you know, when we're old, because we are not old, right? <laughs> When we were old, what are we going to refer back to this last 10, ten years? What are right. we going to call yeah. In the history books, what's it going to be? Hmm. The 20 teens. Yeah. And you know we're in leap year, too. Yeah. What? Yes, it's leap year. Oh, wow. I got a gig book for February 29th, and I'm like, February 29th? I'm like, oh, it's leap year. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So, wow. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump ahead here a little bit. So, we want to go into here recently. You guys have been, oh, Portsmouth has been national coverage with the uh, opioids. So yep. I'm going to kind of touch that a little bit and, and, you, and he'll feed back off in this minute. And then a little bit on the Groves case too. So uh, and then again, we're kind of shifting gears, but. So we're going to say uh, two things. Number one, um, a giant shout out to our intrepid reporter, Nikki Blankenship, who is sitting through every single moment of that court hearing um, to bring you the most detailed information and I check you probably figured me out by now I check every news source and I know what they're doing we give more details thanks to Nikki more details more coverage more in-depth more quotes than anybody all right so we really really appreciate being able to bring that to you mm -hmm. folks um, and this is something that we're looking forward to you know continuing that you know we want to we are tellers of truth and so we want to bring you facts and whenever you look at our articles on our website you'll be able to see that we reference our facts so you can see all of the reference points and we give links to what's called higher authority domains and so whenever you get your information from us it's solid it's absolutely right. solid. Transitioning, we talk about the term opioid. I'm going to be making an announcement. Not today. <laughs> I'm going to interrupt your day with a random, just random go live. I'm going to make an incredible announcement about something that we are going to do. Soda County Daily News and you, our subscribers, we're going to do something that rivals and parallels with being a Hallmark community with breaking the world record, I have an idea. And we are going to do something as a team to go down in the history books. And I'm going to share that with you just one day out of the blue. It might be at 11 o'clock in the morning. It might be at 2 o'clock in the morning. But just all of a sudden, it's going to go live. And I'm going to tell you what it is. So hey, I'll, I'll look to forward to it quick. then. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's, it's going <laughs> to be great. I have to say, on your new site, and I'm just, we've reiterated this before, a lot of times you don't put anything in breaking news out until, after, if it's after 11 o'clock, you know it's breaking. Yes, we've done that on purpose. Um, we have what we consider a news day, and that is from uh, 7A, 6A, 6 a.m to 11 p.m. and that's typically our news day and so we've done that for almost three years if something if you get a notification at two o'clock in the morning something is up and we have on our website whenever you go on our website and it says allow for notifications go ahead and do that it takes no memory takes no memory but it just puts a little icon on your home screen okay serves two purposes number one if we send what's called a push notification it'll push it out to everybody Facebook has algorithms and they go in tiers and so if this many people respond then this this set of people get right. to see it and so it goes in tiers and you have to go through three tiers to finally get to everybody with the website we can get a hold of everybody BAM instantly wow. okay so that's the first thing. The second thing is, very cool feature. Again, it takes no memory in your phone. It's not an app. But if you go out of Wi-Fi range, mm -hmm. or if you don't have signal, 
it remembers the latest news. Wow. So even if you don't have, even if you have no signal whatsoever, all right? So what, it, what, what would that would be? Uh, Shawnee Lodge area, mm -hmm. uh, Blue Run. <laughs> I'm sitting there like, yeah, Otway. Otway. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's, a seri it's a serious thing, all right? Uh, even going down 823, you lose signal. They put new towers up, but there's still dead spots, okay? Mm -hmm. When you have that little icon on your phone, that takes no memory whatsoever. You can still click on it without signal, and it'll still tell you the latest stories. Wow, that's great. That's great. Now I'm going to transition into... <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm going to go back to the whole New Year's resolution thing just for a minute. I just want to talk about, uh, you know, we all have these resolutions or what I would call goals, um, especially if you're in business. You just think goals. Every month you try to set baby ones and then you work up to the next step. You don't want to overwhelm yourself or un unattainable things. Right. And they say that with resolutions. Don't do anything unattainable. Right. Um, also, because uh, you want to have a success, yes. you want to start out with some some success. But the biggest key, and I, and I was talking to uh, Randy and uh, <laughs> what do you call him, Randy Travis? Oh God, Randy Ball and Travis Ball, and we were talking about just uh, like in their business, applying yourself. Right. You know, and I don't, and and so I'm going to go into weaknesses real quick, and I'm going to kind of make fun of myself on this. And we're around bunch of paper and scissors or whatever. I've been in a photography. Don't run with the scissors. Yeah, <laughs> I've been in the photography business and video business for over thirty-five years, and I lay my hand to God to this day, and my husband will vouch for this. I cannot cut a picture to save my life, and every time someone asks me to cut out a picture to put into a picture frame, I thought, thank God it's going in behind a mat or a frame because she's not going to start a scrapbooking society. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> if it's jagged, hey, that's cool. It looks good. <laughs> okay, I got it. We're gonna start a scrapbooking group, and it's gonna, and we're gonna call it Jagged Edges. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> and then we'll meet in McDermott once a month. <laughs> and it'll look good. No, I just want to put that out there because you know we all have strengths and weaknesses, and not that I don't ever work on it over the years, but I just think back to like, man, I think I'm gonna cut better this year. Nah, not even with a little scissor. I used to have to cut diplomas. <laughs> Like, uh, please don't I put me in charge that big of that. slicer right there will cut. <laughs> right, yeah. I'm not good at that either. <laughs> See, my mom was a school teacher, and, she, and I remember the smell. Let me tell you, we got a lot of teachers on here. I remember the smell whenever they would make the copies, and you know that you know the you know the smell. Uh, Leonard Skinner, but whatever you got the you got the smell, and then they would do, go over and do the the things, and then you would get your test or your worksheet or whatever it's going to be. <laughs> And you can smell hot off the press. press you yes. know what I'm talking about. And shout out to the teachers that's just come back with all the kids. Oh. You know, they were all been rambunctious and yeah, so back into a, a, a routine. And teachers <laughs> get your sleep, take your vitamins, get your <laughs> flu shots. I know of which I speak. So, yes. All right, now, we'll birthdays. I'll do, do some birthdays. Yeah, I'd love to do birthdays. Uh, I brought no cake today, though. You brought no cake. Well, we're not doing birthday. <laughs> they still deserve a birthday shout oh, out. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So, birthday, Tara Rap Morello. Tara Rap. I'm telling you what. She works up in the library. She works in the library system. Oh, She's okay. a native of um, uh, Friendship Sugar Grove. Entire Rap family. Uh, go way back. Wonderful, wonderful people. So, if you know a rap in town today, um, Make sure you give Tara a happy birthday. Tomorrow, Yes. Citizen of the Year, Tim Wolf. Wow. Having his birthday tomorrow. All right. Happy birthday, Tim. Um, and then on Sunday, Brad Smith. And that is Mrs. Smith's son. And I put all my birthdays up on Facebook today. So is, are you <laughs> I didn't related, write none down. Are you related to Brad Smith? No, I'm not. My, the other yeah, Smiths. No. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> so much other Smiths. Yeah. That's the first thing they ask my husband when he come down here. Are you related to the Smiths? He's like, my family is first gen or second generation from England or whatever. So he's like, um, not related. So we got some upcoming events. A uh, couple good ones. A couple good ones. Um, and I wrote them backwards, okay? So I'm going to go in order of what's yet to come. Let me tell you. You on a website. And SodaCountyDailyNews.com, in case you just didn't know, SodaCountyDailyNews.com. Go to the events page, all right? You'll be able to see, let me tell you something. If there's music, if there's, you've never seen an events calendar like this before. Good. So oh, I, I have seen some of the previews, yeah. When you go on there, and there's a thing coming up in Ironton that's a, 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 a tribute band for Paul McCartney. 
and they're fantastic. And I put a YouTube video of them up so you can see it. But I do that on, if I can find a video, there, there's going to be a video. So you'll be able to see the stuff. You'll be able to see a, an example. It's sort of like a taste testing of what's going to happen, right? And you can see what you're getting, you're getting yourself into. But I'm so pumped about that thing that's coming up uh, January 18th. I'm really thinking about going and uh, flashing my press pass around to get some backstage Yeah, in. you might be able to do that. Well, and here's the other thing, and I'm, maybe I'm wrong on this, this has only been here recent that you've been able to do anything with the uh, Beatles music. Am I correct on that? Because there was a big tie-up on that for a long time. Well, yes, but uh, the cover, the whole cover world or the tribute world, and I'm only speaking to this because I do have some experience being in the hotel business, and we did a lot of, of what they call tribute artists. And when you're a tribute artist, you are exempt from that that copyright rule because you are a tribute artist so okay. that didn't affect that it affected distribution digital download some of these kind of things so it affected things that had to do with actual money but if you are a tribute artist um uh, another one weird al yankovic if you're doing oh, like yeah. a, you know if you're doing a mockumentary <laughs> um, some of those things are exempt from that copyright law but uh that was a good point to, to bring out but uh but yeah there was a time you're talking music now. We're talking. Mm -hmm. You're getting in my kind of my groove here. There was a time John Fogerty couldn't sing his own songs for, from uh, Clear, uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival. Oh wow! And they just kind of almost did that with uh, yep. Taylor Swift here recently. Yep. Yeah, that's yep. kind of crazy. Even sing her own song. Yep. True. True. Yeah. Okay. So upcoming events on the tenth: women's self-defense classes. Hmm. And they will be at the Hillcross Church of God in South. Portsmouth starting oh. at 6 30. You go onto our website, click under events, find out that information. Also, now this is a big one. This is huge. It only happens, I think, once a year. January 12th, it is Cat Spay and Neuter Day. Yeah, that's very important to, pre to for yes. $45. I've called, I get the price. I know mm -hmm. what this is. We're talking hundreds. Hundreds by the time they do the, the thing, they want to do, to do the, uh, uh, the shots and the this and the that. Um, hundreds, mm -hmm. hundreds of dollars. And this is $45 neuter and spay day. And that is going to be on January the 12th. Find out all the inf information because you must pre-register for this. You cannot walk in. So go to our <laughs> website, click events, go to neuter day, register. And the best thing about the events page is you can add your own event. It gives you a thing, says, hey, add your own event. And that way, everybody that comes to the page can see what you're doing. And it'll help your organization. So we want you to use that. And it costs exactly no money. Okay? Hmm. Yeah, just to get on there and find those things add out. Your, well, well, not only find it out, but add your stuff. Let yeah, people know what you're doing. Okay? Um, a couple upcoming events. Uh, I know tomorrow uh, I will be with Humane Society or Humane and talking to them for a brief interview. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a, a horse rescue with uh, Betty Davison coming up. This is going to be great. And uh, and, I, and the reason why I bring that back up because we did talk to Animal Welfare uh, before the holidays and I'm so appreciative of that interview. And again, just getting those resources out there to you guys. So a couple of those important interviews I think that are coming yes. up for people to be informed. Um, I try to put stuff out ahead of time for you guys so you guys know when we're going live. Uh, I hope it helps. Uh, what else? Um, oh, man. It was like on the tip of my tongue there. But anyways, but like, there's a couple like, of them. Boom. Yeah. Oh, what I want to go back to, and we're I live. really want to stress this with, uh, and I keep, I'm going to say his name because I do this on all my videos. If you want to sponsor, you want us to be showcased at your uh, place of uh, business or place of venue, contact Mark Craycraft and his team. Uh, there's just a little formality to go through with that. And then we can show up. We can do a show like we did today. You want to know what the formality is? What's the formality? Oh, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> <laughs> I say get a hold of your sales team. <laughs> Here's what you do. If you, have, if you would like to host, have us come out and do a show just like we're here, just like we go all over town. If you want to host, if you want to just be have an interview interview your business interview your group i'm still looking for that food pantry um yes right even if yeah. you have suggestions uh for show topics to contact our show you now just send this address preview show 
at SodaCountyDailyNews.com. Awesome. Preview show at SodaCountyDailyNews.com. And if you don't, if one of us will remember to put that in the comments. So yes. anything that you would like um, to suggest, if you wanted to, to host, if you want to, you know, anything about the show, anything, comments, <clears throat> questions, um, re, uh, preview show at SodaCountyDailyNews.com. Now, I have a New Year's resolution. Okay. So I wear this hat. I actually have many hats, but I always wear this hat on camera. Yes. It's my good luck hat. Yeah, you know, it, it fits the best, <laughs> right? So I was gonna buy some more, some new hats, and I'm on uh, <clears throat> uh, Amazon. Can I say we're, you know, well we don't have a, 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 a uh, competing sponsor. So, right. Um, so I'm on Amazon. And I'm looking at hats. I'm getting really excited because I'm gonna get me some hats for Christmas. But then something happened. A revelation, one might say. Yes. Here's what we're going to do. If you have a business or your church or your group or your whatever, and you already have hats, contact us at preview show <laughs> at sodacountydailynews.com and I will wear your hat during our live presentation. Hey, how about that? And so then I get, I get a hat. And then I'll talk about the hat and who sent it to us. And um, that's so a good advertising be, tool for all I'm, you entrepreneurs. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> so if you have a hat, just preview show at sodacountydailynews.com and just say, look, I got this. We got this business. We got this hat. We'll come get the hat. Find it out a little bit about you. I wear the hat for the next live show and give you a little shout out. Sounds awesome to me. Yeah. yeah. Another thing is if you have. A hat that you don't want to actually give me but let me borrow because it has an interesting story behind it hey. this belonged to my grandfather or my grandmother i guess i'll wear a grandma's hat whatever <laughs> hey red hat day's a, coming up red hat day if it has an interesting <laughs> story behind it some some significance then i'll wear it for the show and then return it to you sounds awesome so yep. how about that yeah you got these ideas what happens? You get us off. You get us off the air for a couple of weeks, and we've got to come back. Like, uh, you know, I did. And you know, and I'm glad he's bringing all this up because I just have a uh, uh, a person email me and ask if, or I sent out a message and said, "Well, Betty, what's your show about?" You know, they're just kind of getting tuned in, and I try Welcome. to explain to folks. Welcome. This we have a, a wide platform. We we mm -hmm. talk about a little bit of everything. We do talk about some of the uh, serious topics as well. Mm -hmm. um, we do try to go from everything from, and I'm going to say domestic violence, all the way up to your how-tos or your resources. Because again, we're trying to collaborate all your information and a lot of the information that gets put out on the site into one little show once a week. Right. It is, it, it is the review preview show <laughs> last week and what's, what, what we can look forward to. Yeah. And this started out as a newsletter. And this started out when we had the okay. first, when, when, when we first started, when some of you that's been with us for a long time, we had a newsletter that was the review preview. And so this is version 2.0 of the review preview, and we're doing this live broadcast. <laughs> now, if you go onto our website and just sign up for the newsletter, we have what's now called the Sunday Magazine. Oh. And on Sundays, you get a newsletter that you can print it out if you want to, however you want to. It's personalized. There'll be a nice little message there from me each week, and it'll give you the Sunday Magazine. So you just sign up for that. It costs exactly no money, all right? And so we have maintained the review preview show, but version 2.0, it's now live. And now we have also added the Sunday Magazine. And all you have to do for that is just subscribe for the newsletter you just sign in on the website cost nothing and you get the Sunday magazine and I know we're almost ready to wrap up but I just want to tell you guys uh, again next week we'll be back here or not here we'll be at another location on uh, Wednesday but we have a lot of great topics coming up we've got a lot the whole year ahead of us and again we're going to talk about some local stuff and then we're also going to touch base on some of the national news Unfortunately, we're in the national news right now with this uh, the case that's going on. So uh, thank you, guys. I, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate you guys turn, tuning in. I appreciate Mark and uh, Saturday County Daily News giving me this opportunity. It's a, a new year, new goal, and a lot more than I expected from last year. There's nobody, there's nobody better 
to put in front of the camera and just turn her loose, see all these notes we keep, right? <laughs> and all this, this pre-show planning. Um, there's nobody to just turn loose um, than Betty. And she's very easy to bounce off of because I operate the same way. I wrote down a few things because- <laughs> I didn't. And normally, yeah, normally I have nothing written down and you have something, uh, but I did want to mention uh, some birthdays and that $45 cat spay day and yes. give everybody uh, a way to contact our show now, preview show at sodacountydailynews.com with any suggestions. You keep talking you and I'm going to uh, oh. uh, <laughs> wrap up. I thought she passed out. <laughs> I really did. I thought, man, she's going down right here on live TV. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time, right? <laughs> <laughs> thought I was at the pool of lunch. <laughs> So listen, oh this is the wrap up. We thank you guys so very much, so very much. Um, the uh, participation has been wonderful. I want to congratulate um, our new uh, 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 elected officials that were just uh, uh, that were just sworn in, both in Portsmouth and New Boston. Um, so we're looking forward to some progress. Um, and I'm telling you what, we're going to sign off by simply saying what: choose your. Portsmouth. Bye-bye.